were bathing casinos on Miami Beach at the time. And those were down here, or what we now call South Point Drive, but then was Biscayne Street. People would come over from the mainland, from Miami, by ferry. There were no bridges. And then when they got here, they would go to the beach houses, change their clothes, get into bathing suits, and then after they got through swimming for the day, they'd go get dressed and go back again to Miami. Now they had Ferris wheels and entertainment for the children, and people would just spend the day. It was sort of like entertainment centers. They all sort of gravitated around the pools. And there was no gambling. My grandfather opened up what would be considered today a fish and chips within Smith's Casino itself. And that was the beginning of Joe's. 1919, 1918, they opened up their own restaurant. Our signature, our icon, is the two of them, my grandparents, standing in front of the restaurant. The streets were all wooden. You can see the open lots, and you can see this little tiny house. And they turned the house into a restaurant. They opened up a Seaquarium on Fifth Street and Alton, and they were doing a lot of research work in the marine world. They had two ichthyologists working there, and they came over with some stone crabs that they had trapped, and they brought them to my grandfather, who had the only place to cook on the beach. They brought them to him, and he boiled them for them, and they found out they were edible and that was relatively the beginning of Joe's Stone Crabs. Carl Fisher was building north of Fifth, and there was a great deal of anti-Semitism from the Carl Fisher group. The Loomis brothers were two brothers who came down and decided to develop, but their development was south of Fifth. And so all of the Jewish people lived south of Fifth. That's why Joe's is where it is. And we've just never moved. Joe's is in the same spot as it was 100 years ago. <laughs>